Here we're going to repair a broken ARC ASIC mining tester. This ASIC repair center unit displays a PIC error. To diagnose this issue, we need to disassemble the tester. To do so, we have to remove the selector control knob by pulling on it and unscrewing the four bolts at each corner of the tester. Then we can remove the faceplate by unplugging the pins of the left serial connector. We do a quick visual inspection to look for any signs of damage to the components. We then clean the board using isopropyl alcohol. Afterwards we can plug the USB-C cable to see if the unit still powers on. We can look under the unit, the blue LED indicates the tester is on. You can also use a 6-pin jumper cable to connect the faceplate to the board. With our multimeter set to DC voltage we're going to read the value of each component in the circuit starting with U1 all the way to the I.O. port of the hashboard. To do so we touch our negative probe to the metal casing of the selector knob or the processor casing to act as ground, and follow circuit 1 component at the time with the positive probe. The value we're looking for is 3.3 volts at the output of each component. If you're not getting any voltage at the output of a specific component, this could indicate it's damaged or that the F1 fuse is burnt. In this specific case we're getting the 3.3 volts until we reach the F2 fuse where it drops to zero. We can verify this issue by reading the value of the RX test point near the EEPROM. We're reading 3.3 volts on the RX. This means that the EEPROM is probably not broken and that the F2 fuse might be the issue. To investigate further we set our multimeter to continuity mode and measure both sides of the F2 fuse. In this case there's no continuity we'll need to replace that component. If you don't have a spare fuse you can bypass it to complete the circuit and continue testing. Proceed at your own risk, as shorting the F2 fuse safety feature means the circuit is at risk of overloads. We're going to apply some flux to pre-tin the copper jumper wire. Using a soldering iron we melt some soldering paste onto the wire. This melts the insulation that covers the wire and makes it easier to solder. We can remove the standoff screw for better access to the pads. We then solder the wire across both pads of the F2 connector and cut the excess with a hobby knife. We check for continuity before reassembling the tester. This tester works and we can read 3.3 volts all the way up to the third pin of the I.O. port on the hashboard.